happy holidays! I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today for my holiday faves and fails. And I call them my holiday faves and fails because I wanted my favorites to be pretty gift worthy. I wanted to give you things that I would love to get for myself and that is exactly what I have done in this video. So get your pencil and paper handy because not only are these great beauty favorites, they can also be giftable things as well. And at the very end of the video, stick around because I do have some fails that I'll go through very quickly with you. They were just not very good. Okay, let's get into this. And first, I did want to thank the sponsor of this video, City Beauty. And I'm going to be starting out with my favorite City Beauty products. And for those of you who followed my channel, you you know that I've had quite a few different videos about wrinkle reduction, especially in the neck area with my City Beauty products. And the first couple of products are the neck products that I use all the time. And actually this is the multi-action sculpting cream. And I use this as the moisturizer all over my face. But then when it comes to my neck, I add in the Invisicrepe Body Balm. I saw a YouTuber, I think it was pretty over 50, and she had a beautiful before and after on the neck using the combination of these two together. And I went ahead and tried it too, and I think it has really helped. And I'll tell you another couple of City Beauty faves before I get into something else that I do on my neck that I think has really helped, but I do love these two products. And I did want to tell you that in honor of the holidays, City Beauty is having a 35% off site-wide sale if you use my discount code. And so my code will be linked below the video as well the URL to their website. Here is a look at the favorite area on their website. Those are the products that people purchase again and again. And actually all of these products I will be showing you at the first of this video are from that page because they are also some of my favorite products. Now my next City Beauty favorite is the City Lips Night Oil. And I absolutely love this product. I'm addicted to it. I just put it on my lips at night and in the morning. And it is just a little moisturizing oil you can't really see it there. It is a nourishing oil that over time, I believe, has really helped soften the lip lines around my lips. They're not totally gone, but they're greatly softened. I use it in the evening. I put it all over my lips. And when I wake up in the morning, my lips are just soft and pillowy, plumpy, just really, really nice. And this is a new favorite of mine from City Beauty. And I truly love this. This is now my new favorite mascara. And at 35% off, it is very reasonable because I think it is now under $20. But this is the City Beauty Beyond Mascara. And they also have another mascara. I can't remember the name of it. I don't like it that well, but I love this mascara. Look at that gorgeous head. And what it does, and I'm gonna put it on again for you. What it does, it gives you long, voluminous lashes. And in the reviews, they say it looks like lash extensions or false lashes. And look at that. I think it really, really does. And even if you put a lot on it, it never gets clumpy. It always looks natural, but better. Look at that. I also like to do a little tip of getting the outside edge of that lash, just because that little sweep up at the end kind of gives you a cat eye look. But now on my lips, I have the City Lips Lip Plumping Oil to start with. Whenever I get myself made up, I always start out with this clear plumping gloss and I leave it on as I'm putting my makeup on. And then at the end, my lips are just nice and plump. And sometimes I go in with another City Lips product, such as the San Diego Lip Gloss, which I absolutely love. But this time I actually have a different fave on my lips, which is the Kylie Lip Kit. And I'll explain that to you later. It comes with a matte liquid lipstick plus a very nice lip liner, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. But basically, if your lips look a little bit harsh, and actually I already have this on, that is what I always do. Whenever I put a darker color on, I usually think it looks too harsh. And so I will go in either with the Crystal Maybelline Lifter Gloss or the City Lips San Diego. Look at this. It just gives your lips a peachy, glossy look, a little bit of shimmer in there, but it calms down that kind of strident color. I think it softens the look of your lipstick and slightly plumps your lips, which is great. And again, remember that during the holiday sale, you get 35% off site-wide from City Beauty if you use my code. And I'll put all that information below the video. 
And as always with City Beauty, there is a 60-day money-back satisfaction guarantee. Okay, my next holiday faves are actually clothing items and jewelry items. The first of which is this beautiful Amazon Essentials sweater. It is a cable knit sweater. I've had this for about two years. It's gone in and out of the wash and I hang it dry, but it looks absolutely beautiful after two years, still looks brand new. I have it in red, but they have it in a lot of different colors. And if you have someone on your list that is in need of a sweater, I particularly like this one because of the quality, but also because it is a classic cable knit that everyone would like. I also really, really like this little classic gold bracelet. And this one is only $12.99. I've had this one for a couple of years. It still looks absolutely beautiful. And the neat thing is that you can also add an inscription on the inside and it still comes in two or three days. It is amazing. And what a lovely thing that would be on Christmas morning for your recipient to get this beautiful bracelet, but also a beautiful personalized message on the inside. I think that is just great. And then these earrings I've also had for several years. And these are from a brand on Amazon called Pavoy. And in my time, seven years on YouTube, I have bought lots and lots of jewelry from Amazon and I have never been disappointed in this brand. They offer gold plated jewelry. It is gold plated over sterling silver and it does not tarnish. And I've read many, many reviews on their jewelry. It looks the same month in, month out. And these earrings are absolutely beautiful. And I like them because they are hoops. And if you have a wider face or a rectangular face, these oval hoops are very, very complimentary to that face shape in particular. I really, really like them. And my next jewelry fave is actually a watch. And here it is. This is the Fossil Two-Tone Watch. Absolutely gorgeous. It has the crystal bezel around the outside and it does have the gold and silver accents and a very, very classy face. And I have owned this watch for over a year and it goes with everything since it is the two-tone. I particularly like the bling on it and in the year I have owned it, it has not tarnished at all. It looks exactly the same as it did when I ordered it a year ago. Okay, while we're on the topic of jewelry, I did want to show you one of my true faves and actually this belongs to my husband, Alan. You can get this for females or males. Alan has owned this for about the last three years and he got this gorgeous stainless steel bracelet that he wears daily in and out of the shower, in and out of pools, that kind of thing. It still looks totally brand new. Very, very nice looking bracelet. It was actually designed by a friend of ours, John Lurch. And here is a picture of John and Terry, his wife, and Alan and me as we went to Crystal Bridges together last fall. But John in retirement has an Etsy store and here is a look at it. It is called Dazzle Accents and it has all manner of bracelets and necklaces, even anklets. And I think this particular bracelet is absolutely stunning. It has certainly become a favorite of Alan's. He almost never takes it off. And if you are interested in checking out this bracelet and also all of the other lovely items at Dazzle Accents, I'll put the link below the video. Okay. okay, let's get into some skincare and makeup faves. And I mentioned to you before that on my neck, I use these two City Beauty products, but another thing I use on my neck, and if you follow my channel, you know this, I use tretinoin all over my face, but on my neck, that is just too irritating. So for the past maybe year and a half, I've been using this Adapalene gel called Differin, and this is very inexpensive. It's like $14.99, and this tube lasts me a good month and a half. Here it is in the little box there. But basically what I do is I put these two creams on my neck and then I follow it with a little pea size amount of the different gel. And I have put this in a video recently. It is something I've been doing for maybe the past three or four months and I think it really helps, particularly with these neck bands that we all get. This is a little gua sha stone. You can see this all over Amazon. I've linked it below but most people have it in jade, but I like it in the rose quartz. Rose quartz supposedly means health and happiness and love, so I think that was nice. But basically, I put those creams and the adapalene on my neck, and then I just take five like this, and then five to the middle. I'm not gonna do it because I have a little bit of foundation down there, and then five here. And over time, I think this has really helped to smooth out my neck wrinkles, and I think it's helping some on these platysmal bands, but at my age, they're never going anywhere but softening them with this little tool is rather helpful. Now, I have a fave and a fail here. And my fave is, of course, the little jaw fit, which I've used for maybe a year and a half. And you just put this in your mouth and then you squeeze your lips together and then you squeeze the device together and it really firms up the bottom part of your face and your jowls, I swear by this. And I used to use the Facial Flex as well. 
It is the same sort of thing. It firms up the jowls and the lower face and the neck area, but this has now become a fail for me because I think that over time it was causing my platysmal bands to get stronger and to stick out more, but I'll show you why. See, this, this is in the rack. See? Yuck. See how that caused those bands to just really pop out? But I realized over time that using this, these bands were getting worse, and I actually have a video on my channel that shows you a few other things I did to soften those bands, but this is now a fail. I'm no longer using the Facial Flex. Okay, my next fave is this Bare Minerals Matte Powder. It is a powder foundation, and I joined the party extremely late on this. Most of you ladies out there have used the Bare Minerals Powder Foundations for years, and I just started using it maybe three or four months ago. This is in Medium Beige 12, and as the name implies, it is just a little powder. I'm not going to get it out because it, it really gets everywhere, but you just take this and shake it into the lid, and then you just use a little makeup brush. I don't have it here. I've got my BK Beauty brushes here, but not the particular foundation brush, but I just take a little stiff needle foundation brush, dab it into the lid there, get some product, and then I put it on my nose first, and then I just do little circles all around my face, my forehead, and even my neck area. I go down to about here, but I have it on right now, and amazingly enough, you wouldn't think this would offer any coverage. And you also would think that being a powder foundation, it would exacerbate the lines and wrinkles, but I really don't think it does. I really just think it blurs out the lines and wrinkles that I do have on my face at my age, which I do have some, and it also softens out the red tones you may get in your face. I think it offers a lot of coverage, but I think it is a beautiful, natural look, and I can't recommend this highly enough. Now, I've made some changes to my eye makeup recently, and this is another fave. This is the Tarte Clay Play Volume 2 eyeshadow palette, and there it is. And as you can see, it is very well loved. I'm hitting pan on quite a few things. It is an eyeshadow and an all-over face palette because in addition to all those gorgeous, neutral-looking eyeshadows, and there's a lid shadow there, there's a crease shadow there, actually three different versions of that, there is also a wonderful little highlighter here, and in addition to using it as a highlighter, I also use it right there on the inner corner of my eyelids there. And then there's a lovely kind of a rosy blush. I've got that on as well. And this is a little contour color here, but I've been using this in my crease. I have it on right now, and I think it is absolutely beautiful. And I really like this eyeshadow palette because it is super versatile, because as you can tell, it is all neutral shades, but you have three different versions of the eyeshadows, and then you have a blush, you have a highlighter, and you have the contour. Okay, okay my next fave is actually this Kylie Lip Kit. This is the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit in the color 100 Posy K, and it is a matte lip kit, and this is the matte lipstick here. I'll show you that. I have it on, and I think over the holidays, it is kind of nice to have a darker lip color, and there that is, kind of a medium dark rosy matte color. And then it also comes with its own coordinating lip pencil, which I really appreciate. Again, this is a Kylie lip pencil. It doesn't have a color listed there, but look at that. That's a very, very dark lip pencil color, which is right there. There is the matte lipstick. There's the lip pencil color. I'll put a little of that on for you. There we go, very nice. I don't want to ruin my lipstick. But as you can see, the lip pencil is a little darker, looks a little bit dramatic. And again, what I do with this is I soften everything with the City Lips San Diego Gloss. And I think that is just beautiful. I love the peachiness of that. I love that you can still see that outside lip line. I love the dark dramatic color because over the holidays, a sparkly dramatic color is lots of fun. Now, I do have a few fails to show you, but I realized I forgot this, and I love this. This is only $17.99, and it makes a wonderful gift. It is a jute tote. I have this for myself, and I use it like when I go to Trader Joe's or something. I will use this instead of a shopping bag when I just need to pick up a few items. I really like this. I like that it's $17.99, and in fact, I just ordered two more of them with the initial M, because I have a Melanie, Dylan's wife is Melanie, and I have a Molly that's Colin's girlfriend, and so I think they will really love these. This is a great little extra gift, or if you really wanna think ahead and you're going to a holiday party and you're taking a hostess gift, something like that, wouldn't this be just lovely to give this to the hostess as the gift bag, or even as a Christmas gift bag? I think anyone would really appreciate this. 
Okay, let's get into fails. And my first one is the Kenra Nitro Memory Cream 18. It says three day style memory. It is a good mousse. Actually, it is not a good mousse. It is a terrible mousse. I really love the Kenra products in general. I use their volumizing shampoo and conditioner and I needed some mousse, so I ordered this. And this is the gookiest, wettest mousse I have ever used. It was so bad one morning that I put it in my hair. It weighed it all down. You know, even when it was still wet, it was just like, it was just like I had white foamy bubbles in my hair and they were all pasted to my head. I actually had to wash this stuff out. It was unusable. And my next fail is the Nip Plus Fab Glycolic Cleansing Fix is what it's called. This is a cleanser with a little bit of glycolic acid in it. And I thought, wouldn't that be nice? The glycolic acid would be a mild exfoliant to kind of exfoliate the dead skin cells. Well, this stuff is harsh. I mean, that mousse said nitro. This was like nitroglycerin on my skin. I used it the first night and the next morning my skin was kind of dry feeling. I used it the second night, woke up the morning of the second night and my skin had gotten drier. And then on the third night, my skin was peeling like I'd used tretinoin on it. It was absolutely horrible. And as you can see, I didn't use much of this at all. I tried it a couple of times and both times it was a huge fail. And then another fail I have here is in two mascaras. The first is the Ilia mascara. I don't know what, what it's called, but this was a very bad one. It didn't thicken my lashes. My lashes just looked puny. This was not good. And then this Wonder Wand Mascara, and this is Ciate London. And this was another one that, it just made my lashes look thin and skimpy. And as you can tell, I really like dramatic lashes and neither of these did it. These were both fails. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And my thought for the day is actually on my cell phone. I took a picture of it so I could share it with you. It's an email that I got from Barbara Heffernan and I signed up for her newsletters, I guess, or her e-newsletters. And she is a cognitive behavioral therapist and she is talking about three top tips for the holidays. And I thought they were particularly good. The first tip Barbara had was expect the expected. And that's unusual. You would think that it would say expect the unexpected. And I guess you could, you know, be ready for anything, that kind of thing. But when she says expect the expected, it means realize that the people in your life, for the most part, they don't change. If Aunt Joanne comes and complains the whole time and drives you insane, realize that that's probably going to happen again because past behavior does repeat itself. So in other words, expect the expected. Think about all the family and friends you'll be seeing over the holidays. Realize that things won't change and be prepared to just relax and go with the flow and kind of let it go because you never can control other people all you can control is your attitudes toward them and towards the situation. And over the holidays, that's especially important. And then the second tip she has is things will never be perfect. Things will never be perfect. Accept imperfections on focus on what you can control. And again, that goes back a little to number one. You can't control the people around you. And in many cases, you can't control what goes on around you. So just accept that things won't be perfect. I had to do that over Thanksgiving because I don't make a lot of big meals anymore, but I made the Thanksgiving meal. And in the very beginning, all of my casseroles came out and I pulled the ham out of the oven and it wasn't done. It was still cold. And so the casseroles were sitting there on the cabinet cooling off. And of course, I let that really rattle me. But looking back, I should have just let that go. Things will never be perfect. And in that case, expect the unexpected. And the third point she has is joy happens in the moment. Joy happens in the moment. She says, find joy in mindfulness, appreciating the present. And friends, that's exactly what we need to remember during this moment. Things won't be perfect. People will be people. But most importantly, let's just calm down, be grateful and thankful, and appreciate whatever moment we happen to be in. Take care and happy holidays to each one of you. I can't wait to see you in my next video.